Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. So I just finished a stream where I farmed and rainbowed all three of the free to play Halloween units and there was this one question that kept popping up over and over again on the stream that I wanted to answer for you guys in today's video because I feel like it could potentially help a few people out there. And the question was basically, how should I build these three units? What hidden potential skills should I give them in order to get the best performance out of them? And of course, I'm referring to the Candy Saiyaman, no, <laughs> the Candy Vegito, the Kid Saiyaman, and also the Ghost Tanks. And in my opinion, the short answer to this question is to give them as many additional as possible and then the rest to critical. And this applies to all three units. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. I mean, of course, like I said, this is my personal opinion, so you're totally free to disagree with me. I'm okay with that. But I truly believe that this is the best way to build them. And if you guys want a deeper explanation for each of them individually, then keep watching. And let's get things started with the Kid Saiyaman first. And the reason you want this kid to get as many additional attacks as possible is because he stacks defense every single time he supers. And if you want him to be a defensive monster like he's meant to be on the legendary Goku event or the infinite Dragon Ball history event and so on and so forth, then you obviously want him to get as many additional attacks and more importantly, additional supers as possible, right? To build up that defense as quickly as possible. And the other thing is that he already gives himself up to 49% critical chance on his passive after a few turns. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to give him a ton of critical hit in the hidden potential system. I mean, of course it helps, but I think with the way that he's built and his role on a team, it makes more sense to do additionals over critical. So that's uh, the explanation for the Kid Saiyan Man right there. And next up, let's move on to, hmm, let's see. Let's do the ghost tanks next. And for the ghost tanks, the reason you want him to have a lot of additionals. Now you might've noticed that I actually gave him a bit extra dodge. And there's a reason for that as well. But starting with the additionals first, the reason you want him to do a lot of additional attacks is because of the high chance to stun the enemy on his super. And of course that's completely useless on the legendary Goku event because Goku can't be stunned. But for any other event like Super Battle Road or Dokkan Battlefield, or anything like that where the enemy can be stunned, that extra chance to potentially stun the enemy is super, super clutch. So that's why I feel like additionals makes a lot of sense for him too. And as you can see, I actually gave him three extra dodge. And the main reason for that is because he doesn't stack his defense infinitely like the Kid Saiyan Man does. So he's not gonna be super tanky. So for that reason, I feel like having some extra dodge makes him able to mitigate a bit more damage and also gave him three crit because he is able to do some damage now with those rainbow orbs. So yeah, I mean, crit also makes sense. If you wanted to do like, you know, six crit, 15 additional, and then five dodge, which is, I mean, the five dodge you have to have, right? Um, that would make sense too, but I like to go with a little bit more defense for him or dodge, so that's my build, but there you go. That is the ghost tanks right there. And lastly, we have the Candy Vegitos over here. And for Candy Vegito, very similar reason to the Kid Saiyan Man. And uh, for him, he actually infinitely stacks attack and defense. So once again, if you want him to be a defensive monster on Legendary Goku event and so on and so forth, then it would make sense to get as many additional supers as possible. And the other thing is on his passive, he has a 70% chance of evading enemies attacks so giving him extra dodge really doesn't make that much sense and uh, the rest to criticals makes sense because he actually is a nuker now so he can do not a ton of damage but a good amount of damage at least a lot more than before so that's why i went with 15 additional and 11 crit and that's pretty much it guys quick little explanation for each of these individual units i think that max additional and then the rest of crit makes the most sense basically for all three units i mean for ghost tanks you can go a little bit more uh dodge if you want that's totally up to you but definitely max additional for him too to uh, get that extra stun chance oh and also for candy vegeto he also has a chance to stun the enemy i think it's yeah a medium chance to stun so not as likely as ghost tanks to stun but still a pretty decent chance to stun the enemy and if the first super fails and doesn't get the stun off then the second super 
might get the job done. So once again, another reason to give this guy more additionals than anything else. And that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative in some way. And let me know in the comments down below whether or not you agree with all my assessments. If there's something you disagree with, like I said, it's totally cool. Just let me know what it is. And I would love to see your argument or your reasoning, I guess. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.